Kinsale Golf Course. Yeah, it's about 10, 12 minutes outside of Kinsale. Lovely little green. Just got out here, the sun bursts out. Well, looks like the driving range. Number one down here. Number one, T. There's the fairway, got one chap in front of me. I think there's another group coming up. I may not get away with uh, solo play, so we'll see what happens. All right, we're on number one T box. First thing you notice is the grass is not cut, particularly uh, in the fairway. This looks more like your uh, typical, not your $300 golf course, Valley Bunyan, or it's a little bit more like Parkland. Number hole two is a par four. I'm hitting from yeah, hole number two and I'm laying three. Yeah, feels a little pressurized. I was gonna bring up the drone, see all the rabbits over there. They seem to be happy. Nobody to bother them. At any rate, it seems like it's kind of busy. Two some behind me, three some behind them, and who knows who's behind the other group. So it's it's too much of a yak to bring out the drone. So I'll just have to actually concentrate on the game here. Uh, Straight right. number two got a double six. Well, I like the fact that it's well marked out. Oh, a whole bunch of rabbits, man. Guess they don't have any natural predators. Seems like golfers leave them alone. So they're probably in pretty good shape. Yeah, at least the fairways are pretty straightforward. Like long and hard, man. That's all I can say, long and hard. Yeah, it gives a nice little view of the this is a par three. They're all long like this. You see that? It's like, I think it's too close to 200 yards. I don't have my chart and I don't have a pencil. Number three, hole number three. You have to admit it is a pretty countryside. Mr. Crows represent an ominous sign. This is number seven, kind of long, 300 yard par four. I'm on in three, so good luck with putting that out. Let's see if we can at least get a ball. All right, this is the back, the back nine. We just hit off the tee box. The driving range. I don't see everybody wearing a nice little collared shirt. Although there is a sign that says uh, no cell phones. <laughs> I probably and this is a pretty gusty wind right now. I mean coming off the ocean it's got to be uh, I'd say at least 20 25 miles an hour. You can see the leaves blowing. Air is a little bit chippy it's probably 60 something 60 degrees something. So I might be getting older just not hitting as far as I think I should be. Or it's a combination of everything. You know. huh. Looks a little bit more interesting back here. Don't have a really good sense of distance. They don't really give you a... I got a par by the way. I chipped it off the green. Just like Matt, just like magic, just fell in. There's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you just hope you got it. Huh. Number 14. Looks like a nice hole. Beautiful. A landscape to look at. It almost like looks like a putting green out there, doesn't it? Don't touch that yellow bush. It's got these little thorns on it. They're micro. All right, let's see how we do. Oh, 
Johnny Rabbit. They seem to like it on the golf course. Probably no natural predators. They're probably the ones that grab all the balls. And they sell them for food. All right, the wind is kind of calming down. I'll probably finish my 18, put the clubs away, and uh, get some aerial shots, I think. Hopefully by then there'll be a little bit too many people. Just ran into a, an Irish couple. They were going clipping along pretty quick. I had to let them play ahead of me. It's like, I couldn't keep up with the two of them. But that's a, uh, you got other things to do when you're not on vacation. All right, 16. I kind of went off to the left on this drive. Number 17 hole, getting near the end here. Boy, it goes quick, there's number 18. So this is 17, it's a long ass parway. So, number 18, I think it's ranked number 17th on the course. So it's gotta be relatively easy. They, maybe they set it up so you get a par, but it does seem to, most most of these par fours, par threes, par fives, it's like the par fours are like a par five. Bloody par threes are almost like a par four. They're like seem to be over 200 yards. You know, it's still a nice course for 50 euros. It's uh, row grass. I mean, it's not super polished or anything, but if you're staying in Kinsale, it's certainly a reasonable place to have around Old Head, which is where I'm playing tomorrow. That's something like $300 around, so quite a quite a bit difference. I got to do a few of those well-known courses just to have the bragging rights of being in Ireland and playing them. Bally Bunyan doesn't look like it's going to be on the menu. Takes six months to get a tea time private course. Uh, tea times are available in the morning till about one and then it's members so that's a tough one, tough one. Unless I make some new marker. Oh boy. Number 18, again, it's a long hole, but boy, they got bunkers in front, like a big old bunker right in front. Uh, there I am, I'm laying three, so I got one chip and a putt, hopefully. But this is a long...